As you can see, we're at sunrise on the banks of the Fitzroy River and we can hear the birds. So why are we in Fitzroy Crossing? So Donna approached me up in the Kimberley and said, how are we going to encourage medical students and, and doctors to come up into the Kimberley? The need is massive, that's, that's one thing. Um, and then the issue of people not wanting to be here compounds that. So Derby, Fitzroy, um, Kanara are crying out to doctors, they're desperate for doctors. So the MD program in Fremantle is a four-year Doctor of Medicine postgraduate program. And the Kimberley trip takes place in the second year and is really integral to our curriculum um, which is linked to our mission um, to train doctors to serve the unmet need in rural and remote Australia. So this is our 16th year up in the Kimberley. It was definitely an early morning so up at 5.30 at the airport ready to fly to Broome so you've got a bunch of half asleep second year medical students but there was a lot of excitement so we got on the plane together um, and took the sort of three hour flight to Broome. We've arrived in Broome and on our way to Derby. There's a lot going into it logistically when you're, you're moving at the moment. We've got 65 students working with those sorts of numbers. We need to make sure our timings are spot on and the planning's ship shape. Kimberley placements to me are a remarkable and really rather unique opportunity within a medical school and we very much try and get the students to have an experience that gets them to better understand what it is like to live well outside metropolitan Australia. And as we just enjoyed our new home, there are people playing soccer, people who are just enjoying the nature, listening to the birds. Saturday night we all had dinner together on the tide flats um, and lit a big bonfire. You could see the horizon, it was um, a beautiful sort of setting and you know we all just sat together, even with the teachers, everyone was just relaxed. It was like sort of being on this holiday and you're just out in you know, country WA and it was a really, really nice night. And I think just being able to sit here and, and be in Derby and be here together, I don't know, I just felt warm. Not just the heat. <laughs> I felt warm and sticky as well. I think everyone has all day. But I don't know, I had a warm feeling sitting here amongst everybody. For the students who have been coming here for the last 16 years, on the whole it tends to be a very transformative process for them as it was for me. Um, because I think you can be told in lectures, you can read in books how different life is in a remote area, but until you've actually lived it and walked it and breathed it, you don't really know. And when you don't really know, then you can end up making recommendations and giving advice to patients that just doesn't really fit um, what's practical for them or perhaps even what they want. The ward was down the other side, so this was Bungaro. That's the old hospital there. We all stood on the ground every morning to get our medication in the afternoon. Being there, it was just so humble and just to think about the number of people who were removed from their families, who were essentially had to recreate their own family and create a community of their own to help each other. It was just a very powerful moment. So we're just outside of Derby, stopped in at the local prison Boab tree and just around the corners, the world's longest concrete trough. Uh, it's where a lot of sheep farmers would take their sheep before they'd send them off to the port. That night we had another community dinner and had a really awesome debate with some of the students just talking about you know, what works, incentives or the carrots to get people to the country or sticks programs that are going to send people there. We came up um, before the medical school actually started. We had community meetings with people and said, this is what we'd like to do. Would you be willing to host students in your workplace and in your home and teach them what it's like to live here? What are the joys and the challenges of living here? And, and to teach them, what do you want from your doctors? Sometimes they say, aren't they meant to be here learning doctor stuff? Um, and we say, no, it's just about being part of the community. Uh, we're about 260 k's out of Derby. So therefore the area where the Med 200 students are spread 
is half the size of the state of Victoria. It's been incredible. The family's been incredibly warming. Taking us to all different gorges, up through the caves, um, showing us different bush food, bush medicine, and even cooked us some, some kangaroo. What have you been working on? Adding. Adding. And. Numbers. And now we're having kangaroo meat for dinner with rice. How's it taste? Good. Good. <laughs> we want some of them to really capture their imagination and their hearts to consider actually going back and working there in the future. For a long time. So I think for me, having grown up most of my life in the city, having really had no rural experience before, all our placements at Notre Dame really helped open my eyes to what it would be like to be a rural doctor. And I think without those experiences, I wouldn't be here today. This country been here from the dream time, but me and you, we just passing through. Yes, me and you, we just passing through.